It's only been a few days, but my daughter has already taught me some very strong philosophical lessons. Infants and toddlers are all about eliminating their pain and maximizing and amplifying their pleasure. If they're cold, they want to be swaddled. If they're poopy, they want to be changed. If they're hungry, they want to be fed. When they're getting a bath, they just want it to stop as fast as possible, even though it's good for them. When they're getting their diaper changed, they just want it to stop just as fast as it possibly can, even though it's going to be good for them. And that's perfectly fine because they're babies and we understand that. You see, babies don't have a concept of what is good for them and what is not good for them. They only have a concept of, I am in pain, I want to be out of pain right now. But as adults, we're expected to understand that suffering is part of human existence. When my girlfriend was having these intense contractions, all we could think about is how they're going to be over soon and the baby is going to be here and it's going to be wonderful and everything is going to be absolutely fantastic. So she could endure that suffering and in fact was expected to endure the suffering. But what it got me thinking about really was the fact that so many people in the world are all about getting rid of their suffering. The pain medication during childbirth, having all the food in the world they want, they're all about having nice air conditioning and but really the suffering part is what brings about the fantasticness that happens after suffering. Without the pain and suffering, without enduring that stuff, we won't be able to enjoy the wonderful thing that happens afterwards quite nearly as much. I know this because my other two children were born via c-section which means they numbed her entire body and cut her open and just pulled the baby out and there was much less suffering that happened right away. There was much more suffering that happened later because she had to recover from OR but the suffering that happened immediately up to the birth wasn't nearly as intense and so for something there was some kind of difference for me and disconnect for the pleasure of having a baby come out. Uh, it just wasn't nearly as an intense experience. So that's the lesson for today. Endure your suffering because the pleasure that comes afterwards is so much sweeter after the suffering. Thanks for watching guys, I'll get back to some more videos kind of like this but maybe with some more of the topics you guys suggested later on in the week. Uh, if you want to and you're interested, you don't have to be interested at all, but if you want to be interested, uh, I'm posting little cutesy videos of the stuff that we find cute about the baby and I know and I realize that not everyone finds cute things about babies cute. That's fine, you don't have to. Uh, but I am posting them over on my alternate channel. I'll post those, I don't even know, as long as many times as they happen. Uh, so you can go check those out, and uh, I'll see you guys whenever I see you again. Bye.